Hey, second grade, Mrs. Ensel here. We're starting a new topic in science today, and we are talking all about the three states of matter. If you had done any of this in first grade, there are three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. Um, you should have already watched the brain pot video explaining a little more, but I wanna go more in the depth. Solids are mainly mostly what's around us, things that don't change their shape, things that are hard, and things that if you put them in a container, they don't change. Uh, think of pencils, crayons, scissors, shoes, clothes, anything kind of more hard is gonna be a solid. Then we have liquids. Liquids are things that are kind of like maybe gooey or a little sticky, and when you put them in a container, they take the shape of the container. Think of like sunblock, water, any type of like pop or juice or liquid that you put into like a container. It takes the shape of whatever cup or whatever jug or pitcher that it might be in. Um, trying to think, some, some chapsticks are examples of liquids. And then the last one we have is gases. Gases we cannot see usually. Sometimes we can, but usually we can't. Gases also take the shape of their container, um, but they also are a little bit different than liquids because like I said, you usually can't see them. Things like that are like the oxygen you breathe. Um, you can end up seeing it like if you fill up a balloon, like an inner tube balloon that you use when you're in the pool. Um, things like that steam, if anything that's super hot, think of like hot water or uh, something like that. That steam that comes up, that is a gas. Um, you guys are all gonna laugh. Um, sometimes they smell. Um, when you fart, you got a little bit of a gas going out there, guys. I know you're all, <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's kind of what gases are. Um, usually you don't see them. Sometimes you can smell them. Um, but those are gases. Um, Eleanor and Oliver are going to help me here. We're going to do a real quick, not experiment, but a real quick uh, thing for you. Uh, in my balloons, I have, each one has a different state of matter. One of them has a solid, one of them has a liquid, and one of them has a gas. So... I'm going to go ahead and start with the solid one. I've got it here. So I froze some water in the balloon, boys and girls, in my freezer. So when I, oh, there it goes. <laughs> I, you can see the, the ice here. Yeah. I, oh, you can see there's the solid. It's not super frozen, so it's still a little liquidy because it can change. But if I were to put this in a, in a bowl, guys, it's going to stay this shape. It'll melt eventually and turn into a liquid. But right now, if I were to put it right here, it's not gonna change shape. So I had my solid in that balloon. Eleanor has my liquid. I'm gonna keep this one away from me. I've got water in this balloon. And you're gonna see when I pop this one, boys and girls, the liquid is gonna go everywhere because it has no shape to take on. So you guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Woo, there it goes. See, there's no container, so it's kind of flowing all over the place. And then we're not going to see much out of Oliver's. Um, he's got the balloon filled with gas, but I blew it up with my own air with my oxygen. And you can see because it's in a container, it took the shape. My oxygen is stuck inside the balloon. And when we pop out, you guys know we're not going to see anything. But here we go. One, two, three. And there's the air. Um, which is the gas. So there are our three examples of solids, liquids, and gases. I'm gonna go over some cards really quick with a few more examples of solids, liquids, and gases. Ice cubes, like what was in my first balloon, while they are still solid and frozen, we're gonna talk about matters changing later, but while they're frozen, ice cubes are a solid. If you were to put them in something, they're not gonna change their shape. Pencils, I mentioned those before. You can break them, but they're still not gonna change shape. So pencils are an example of a solid. Coins, any type of change, any money is a solid. Again, not gonna take change its shape. And then we're gonna move into liquids. If I can get it. Ellie, put that down, please. Shampoo is a good example of a liquid. It's kind of runny, kind of liquidy, and it takes the shape of the whatever the shampoo bottle is. So shampoo is a liquid. We showed you in the water balloon. Water, obviously a liquid, takes the shape of its container. Wet paint, have you ever seen wet paint before? Wet paint, before it dries, wet paint is a liquid. It takes the shape of the paint can. And now we're gonna move into some gases. 
just like in my balloon, our oxygen we breathe is a gas. Soda pop bubbles, if you've ever had a pop, the carbonation, you see the little bubbles that fizz to the top? That those bubbles are a type of gas. So you can kind of see those a little bit because it's inside the liquid. And then our last one, I mentioned this before, steam. You guys know Mrs. Ensel drinks her tea. When Miss Ensel uh, makes her hot water for her tea in the morning from her kettle, it steams with the hot water. And you can see there, steam is an example of a gas. So today was just a real quick introduction, boys and girls, of solids, liquids, and gases, what they are, what they look like. Tomorrow we're going to go a little more in the depth about each and every one. So have fun. Bye, guys.